There we go. Hi, friends, golfers. My name is Eric Silver with EJS Golf, and welcome. Today, we're going to start a series of videos that's going to go 90 days straight, and I'm going to cover all kinds of topics to make you a better golfer. But I want to go through this first one here and kind of talk about what is the perfect golf swing we're trying to build, and are we trying to build a perfect golf swing? My answer to that would be no. We're trying to build perfect dynamics at the ball is what we're trying to do. Okay, now there's certain things we can do in the golf swing that it's going to make it easier to get there. So to better dynamics down here, and that's what we go for. We don't try to build one model of swing and that's it. All of us are different uh, anatomies. We have different talents, different sized hands. Some are more athletic than others. It just depends. Uh, we have injuries, some don't. So I would say that there's not just one swing. There's an infinite number of swings, but we're trying to achieve something very important down here and that is impact. So if you learned one thing about me through this series, you're going to find out me as a coach is all about impact. Why? Because it's what matters. I can shape the ball down here. I can get compression down here. I can get distance. Everything is down here. I determine just with this little touch right here. Okay. So I'm a big believer in having my students get to where they are. The first thing they do are striking this ball first, getting compression, getting spin, and getting some length because they finally start to understand that we're not trying to hit the ball back here, that we're trying to get the ball up here, okay? We'll talk in, in, in depth about that at other points, but I wanna to talk to you about what's important in the golf swing. So we have grip, we have posture, we have alignment, um, you know, then we have the swing, the body, the arms, what the hands and wrists are doing. There's a lot of components that we're gonna get into, but I wanna start with this and talk about what are fundamentals, okay? Throw a lot of those fundamentals out of the room, out of the room because Think of this more as matchups, okay? Because the old rules of you have to do this, it, it's just not true. I Because I know a lot of people who line up like this way open who play a draw, okay? I know people who line up close who come over the top and play a cut. So what's the matchup for that in grip, okay? That's what we need to master, okay? So it's not just this railroad track we build. Everybody's on the same line swinging right down that line path. It, it's just not, it's not how it works. It's not how we build good golfers. We build it through matchups, and I'm going to talk to you more and more about that, okay? But grip, where I see grip go very wrong, and we're going to do a long video on that, is that the heel pad doesn't get on top. So we're going to talk about that. The other thing I want to get into, too, is what we're going to talk about is what the body and the arms, the importance of the two. So where is speed generated? Most of it's in our hands and arms. What is the purpose of our body in our golf swing? The main purpose of our body is to support what our hands and arms are doing, okay? Very, very important, right? So I don't want you to look at this as this huge speed generator, our body. It is meant to support the speed we create to this. So if I'm swinging this thing pretty fast and it gets to here, I and I'm going maybe 100, 105 miles per hour, I'm having probably 130 pounds of pull that way. So I better learn how to swing good so I can stay back or I'm going to get pulled forward and then that's bad for my back. So I, your health is very important to me. Your health, how we strike the ball, are two things we're going to talk about a lot because I don't want to see people like this hurting themselves, okay? I went through it in my career when I didn't know about it 30 years ago and no one else did back then either. So we're going to build swings that lasts a lifetime and also understanding what your tendencies are in the golf swing. This is gonna be a lot of fun. My whole teaching basis I said is around here. I want you to achieve consistency, right? And with that distance, what do those two lead to? Lower scores. We're gonna learn how to read. You're gonna become, you can become your own track man without a track man. I'm gonna teach you how to do that. There's gonna be so much fun stuff through this. Get into my school community. If you're not already there, if you're not watching this there, uh, if you're on any of my other social media networks, I'm going to have a lot of stuff going on in there. We have Hugh Marr, PGA European Tour coach, joining me in there for some free webinars. He's even going to look at a lesson, or he's even going to do uh, a lesson for somebody who uh, bring, shoots their, uh, sends in some videos of it. Um, a lot of big stuff, a lot of fun stuff coming. So let's look at this 90 days uh, coming up as a chance for you to understand your golf swing, build your golf swing become more knowledgeable about it. I'm going to kill fallacies left and right. I hate the fallacies and old wives tales out there. They drive me nuts. Why? Because they hurt golfers. Okay. I see so many golfers hurt by the keep your head down thing. I, I saw a swing the other day by this poor girl, lady, uh, her husband was yelling at her, keep her head down. And she has a swing like this. This is her swing. 
And guess what? She still topped it. <laughs> so it's pretty easy to see why they top it when they do that. So for 30 years I've been coaching, I've never once seen anybody on video do what they describe. So people come here, top it, and they go, oh, I picked my head up. I go, come here, let's look at the video. And they're just shocked that they're like this. So I'm going to kill a bunch of different fallacies like that. Why it benefits you to understand them and understand how that is hurting your game. So when Bob yells at you that you are quick or something like that, you're able to go, okay, thank you, and just move on and focus on stuff that actually does matter in golf, okay? I'm excited about this. It's going to be a blast. Once again, my name is Eric Shore with EJS Golf. Get into my school room, uh, skol.com slash ejsgolf, and uh, join that, and then let's go from there. Let me know if you have any questions. I, I want to post, uh, if you can, down there, what you aren't consistent at in your golf swing. Let me know down in the, in the uh, comments why you think you aren't consistent and what is your ba ball flight pattern you do not like. Thank you very much. Eric Schulberg, EJS Golf and School.